Welcome back to the Steve Champagne Radio Show. Welcome back. I love music army. Hey, it's kind of like the Kiss Army. So welcome, Kiss fans, because this video, I'm about to drop a bombshell, or at least Ace Freely dropped a bombshell, and I'm going to tell you all about it because uh, what he had to say, in my opinion, is the real truth. You know, this is the first time I think I've really heard the truth when it comes to the demise of Kiss. And in his latest interview, Ace Freely says the simple, plain truth. Now, what he said, I'm going to tell you in a second. No, no, I'm not going to tell you in a second. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's get to this right now. Here's the quote from Ace Freely, okay? It says, once we became rich... We all became millionaires. Everybody started going their own way. Everybody had their own limo. Everybody had their own bodyguard. So, you know, nothing could last forever. He also reflected upon the fact that, you know, when they were trying to get this thing going, that Paul Staley worked at a sandwich shop, that he delivered liquor. He was a postman for a little while. Uh, him and Gene Simmons used to room together at the Holiday Inn. And then once everybody got the money and they became rich and famous, well, then, voila. And I'm going to tell you, this is absolutely correct. And here's why he's right on this. Because nine times, or at least eight times, definitely seven times out of ten, when you reach the kind of success that KISS had. Now, I'm assuming there's a lot of KISS fans watching this video. You know, when a live comes out and just explodes, and then you follow it up with probably the best Kissed album ever, which is Destroyer. I mean, I think that's their best studio album. That's just me personally. I could be wrong, but when you when you have those two whammies right back to back and you become, you know, instant millionaires, if you will, then, you know, you want to keep it going. But, you know, okay, so you follow that up with what, Rock and Roll Over, I think was after that, was a solid record. But Love Gun kind of fell off the mat. Then you went to the disco thing. Then, you know, Gene Simmons is making movies and, you know, and then later gets his reality show. You get distracted. You know, that's when the drugs really come in because, you know, hey, I'm making all this money and people want me everywhere and they, they want to pay us all this money and we just show up. And I know these songs like the back of my hand. The fire doesn't burn as strong, you know. Someone famous once said, you have your whole life to write your first album. It's the second album that's the hardest. And that's why you see a lot of one-hit wonders or bands that have great first records and then they fall off on the second record. Maybe make a comeback on the third or fourth record, change producers, change labels change management, things happen. But it is so true that the fire doesn't burn as hard when you get to where you try to go. You know, you, you climb that mountain, and then finally, once you get to the top of it like they were, where do you go? I mean, there's, there's really nowhere left to go but down. And um, if you can get eight years in the music industry with a solid rock solid very popular career you are one of the blessed ones most musical careers last between you know one and three four years and then you're either you're going to be you know flash in the pan or you're going to have sustained success but if you can sustain success for eight years and because music changes every eight years in case you didn't know you can go way back and you just kind of can see the, what happened every eight years. But KISS fans, I have this burning question for you. All right, so if you're a KISS fan, pay attention to this. Who do you trust in the band? You know, we've all heard stories about everybody in the band you know, Paul's talked about Peter and Ace and Gene, and Gene's talked about Paul and Ace and Peter and Peter's. They don't, I mean, everybody's talked about everybody. <clears throat> and the stories vary depending on, you know, who you're listening to. Who do you believe is telling the truth when they talk about the demise of Kiss and what really happened? Or your alternative question, because I read every single comment 
and I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this. It's just something I thoroughly enjoy reading the comments. This is our show, your show too. It's an interactive show about music and entertainment, but let's get to this second question. No promo right now. <laughs> um, do you believe that they're all kind of telling the truth? Because, you know, you, you've heard that old expression, you know, there's this side and then there's that side and then there's the truth. Who do you believe is the truth and what do you think was the demise of KISS? Is Ace Frehley right? Once they become rich, the motivation was there, everybody had their was gone and, and everybody went their separate ways. Do you think it was the drinking? Do you think it was, you know, because Ace says in this interview that they used to have band meetings and bitch sessions where they could freely discuss, you know, all the problems or things that they didn't like in the band. And it was cool. And then all of a sudden, boom, you make all this money and that doesn't happen anymore. And, you know, things take over <clears throat> because I have my opinion and I will guarantee you that if you put in the comment section, if you like this video, if you subscribe to the channel and you, you comment down there, I'm going to, I'm going to, I just love commenting. It's just something I love to do. And I love making videos about your comments. So be a part of the show. Join us in our internet musical global family of friends, the I Love Music Army, which was kind of based on the Kiss Army. So this is what we love to do. We want you to be a big part of that. So hit that button, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about Ace Freely and his latest comments. Um, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to go see this Gene Simmons thing. So we got to talk about that as well. So uh, we got to pay some bills right now. Take care. God bless. Peace, love, and all that stuff. Kiss. Yeah.